We are so lucky and spoiled in Cape Town. Why? We've got the best climate, we've got the best people, we've got the best restaurants, and we've got the best chefs. That's right, <laughs> based right here in Cape Town. Peter Tempelhoff, it is so lucky to be chatting to you. In a short while, you and I are gonna hop into a brand new Edition 6 Mercedes-Benz, made proudly in South Africa and exported to the world. And also, just above us, is one of the best restaurants in the world. Not just in South Africa, in the world, of which this gentleman over here is of course the head chef. Uh, that is called Fane, it's won numerous awards and importantly, I want to find a bit more about, out about this gentleman over here uh, from the Cape. He's gone and he's explored the world and he's picked up the most amazing concepts and ideas, created them himself and given it to the world. We love that, we love Peter. Let's get in the car and find out more about this man and drive that car. You're doing the driving by the way. Oh boy, oh boy, let's go. <laughs> Peter, I can't believe, I'm trying to work out how many years it's been that I've known you, but I first I met you, Grand Provence. That is right, so that was 2007, I think. Yeah, correct. Jeez, you worked that out like 15 years ago. 15, 15 years, years ago. Yeah, that's crazy, yeah. And at that stage, you, were, yeah. you just got in from a, a gallivant abroad. You had been working at some of the most incredible establishments on earth. I mean, New York, London, Michelin starred restaurants. You'd, you'd kind right. of cut your teeth in the world's finest establishments. Yeah, well, I had a really good stint there. I was at um, 11 Madison. Yeah. Actually, that was before it was open. So I went to Daniel Balud's, then I went to Le Bernardin, which is a three-star Michelin, which was completely eye-opening. And yeah, I just, I was, with these chefs that I knew from the relay, yes. it was actually nice to be in their kitchens and be their special guest. You yeah. know, they, normally you just go in there as a trainee and you're, you're cleaning onions and you're peeling <laughs> potatoes, but they actually, they gave me amazing, like, they treated me like VIP, yeah. so it was fantastic. Um, I think that's probably where I learned my most, is in other people's kitchens. Yes. Um, and then, yeah, I've, I've done a few stints since then, yes. um, but I think I don't pick up as much as I used to for yeah. some reason. I don't know if it's because I'm flipping older or because I've seen so much more, but you know, I still yes. I still like rubbing shoulders with, with, with these yeah. guys, all, the, all my peers, you know, who I just do see every now and then. Yeah. I mean, you got the best schooling on earth. If I look at the, and you mentioned some of the names, I mean, there's nobody greater that you could have actually been in the kitchen and, and absorbed that information from. You can learn what you want from textbooks and videos yeah. and everything, but when you're in in that moment, in the no. kitchen with somebody who's passing on that knowledge to you, I mean, that's the oh, real Oh, the best training goal. is a school of hard knocks. Yeah, yeah, Without yeah, yeah. a doubt, yeah. cutting your fingers, <laughs> burning yourself. You know, that is a, the fastest way to learn. You know, to get stuck into it, yeah. get, to get thrown in the deep end, yeah. and you have to learn to swim. You know, there's, there's no option. You can't sink. No. You know, so yeah, yeah it's, been, it's been a great, it's a great ride since then, and that was coming Jeez. back to South Africa. I think was a defining moment for me. I could have stayed in London. Yeah, uh, you know, I often think, geez, I probably should have, would have got a couple of Michelin stars by now. Yeah, but you know what? To be able to raise a family here and Absolutely. to yeah to to get back into Cape Town fan yeah. scene was. It's been phenomenal for me. I'm going to ask about that because of all the places on, on earth that you could have chosen, you chose Cape Town. But before we get there, Alan, the one thing that always struck me about you was your, obviously, you know, it's one thing being able to prepare a meal in a kitchen and it's another one, uh, another take having creative flair. Mm. And, you know, not many people get it right. Uh, unfortunately, it's one of those trial and error things. But you've got a natural knack for putting a spin on what you're preparing. It's an yeah. artistic Jeez, I flair. I wish you got it right all the time though. <laughs> no, I know, but, but that's yeah. what people don't understand. It's a lot of trial and error, yeah. you know, a lot. Hell of a lot. Sometimes we'll put a dish on and we'll still sell it and realize, geez, it's not right. Yeah. So we redo it, go back to the drawing board. Well, we're still running it, so we tweak it, tweak it, tweak it. We could tweak something 10 times before it's perfect. Yes. But, you know, that's unfortunately where you do get a bit of pushback from the guests. Sure. You know, we're in the, um, we've learned now we don't do that anymore. We no. don't put on dishes unless we're 100% certain sure. about them. Sure, yeah. Um, well, you do get negative feedback sometimes and bad reviews when you're not completely ready with a dish. You know, your services, you know, that we've changed the whole menu at times and your service doesn't know anything about the menu, so you get all these complaints about it. <laughs> and geez, you live and learn, eh? It's with the, with the guys around you, you build up a team and they learn to, yeah, to take your ideas yeah. and run with them and then try them and try them four or five times, then we put them on, you know. Absolutely. So, it's not all me, it's the guys around me. Absolutely, great team, absolutely yeah, yeah, great totally. team. 
tell me about the idea because obviously Fane is from Fane Boss, proudly South African. It's a great South yeah. African name. A lot of people go, it's fine. You must hear it being called all <laughs> kinds of names. Fine, Fane, yeah, fine. Even by local, even Africa, some not Afrikaans, but yeah. English speaking yeah. South Africans, they say Finn. Finn. No. Like, but where do you get Finn from? <laughs> okay, I get it. But, but I think the funniest was at the world's 50 best, we went for the awards, yes. uh, which I'm sure we're going to talk about. Yeah. We had the awards in London a few weeks yes. ago. And on their website, it said Fane pronounced fine. So you're like, and they're giving me the word. Going, and from fine restaurant. Like, oh, damn, this is in front of the world. Like, what's going on? Surely, got, but they've changed it since then. So now they know it's yeah. pronounced F-A-I-N. Yes, correct. Yeah, now, let's yeah. talk about that. You've, you've, you've touched on something that it's really, I mean, it's an honor just to be uh, mentioned in, you know, in, in, in a top yeah. global uh, a selection of, of, of peers that are the uh, and they're peers that have been around for a hell of a long time. Yeah. I mean, we, we, some of those restaurants that were nominated are institutions globally, mm. uh, you know, and to have a, a an establishment from Cape Town that we're so proud of <laughs> that has not only made Thanks. the list but Thanks. an award winning yeah. uh, a restaurant. I mean, uh, what a great moment for, yeah, for no, South it's Africa. Fantastic for, for us as a team and for, for the country as well. I'm so proud that we can be able to yeah. bring something very South African. Yes onto the culinary scene in such short time as well. You yeah. Know, we've been only open not even four years now. So and two of those years were COVID. So yeah. <laughs> it was a rough two years. We barely made it through. You know, we'd opened we'd been open for a year. Yeah. And then COVID came, we kind of shut it up and kind of sputtered for the next year and a half <laughs> after that. And then finally business started coming back. So essentially it's only been two years really. <laughs> in two years, yeah. because two of us with COVID, yeah. you've managed to create and your team, I say you, yeah. but it's I mean you're the creative mind and you've got this team of like minded people that have created yeah. a world class product. One hundred percent. You know, and Ashley, you know, my, my partner in the kitchen, our color director he's his vision is phenomenal he's become this japanophile all of a sudden you know he's never done anything about japan before and, and now he's, he's the guru a few trips there and he's actually learning japanese Gee. and jennifer as well she had a trip to japan and she's completely smitten with it as well it's just i think there's so many similarities between the, sure. the cultures yeah and there's so many differentials some there's so many things that are so polar opposite between Japanese and African cultures. Yes. Which I think piques the interest of the world. That's why I think we've done so well. Yeah. Is because as people like think scratching their head, go, how do you blend French, uh, sorry, not French, how do you blend uh, Japanese, Japanese and African? Yes. Maybe one is so raw, the other one is so refined. But we've managed to pull it off because the ingredients that we get here are so phenomenal. Yeah. And we're just applying Japanese techniques to it, you know. We do have an aesthetic which is kind of Japanese as well. Yeah. But I think the world is just ready for something different. And Absolutely. the way we're plating it up, you know, not giving like 14 little plates and one after the next, like a long tasty menu. We've shortened it. We've abridged it to like seven visits to the table where you get 14 different plates, you know, with trays and trays and little kaiseki, we call it. Yeah. yeah. It's an experience yeah. as well. It's, experience. it's not just yeah, about totally. the food, it's about the experience. Well, we got lucky, you know, the stock, I always say the stars were aligned. Yeah. We managed to get the right building. We, the landlord was good to us. He put up the building for us. <laughs> we managed to get a good ceramicist on board and a good designer of the furniture, which is Christoph, who's a partner. And he did all the furniture and all the wood inside. And then we got a good service team, which is Jennifer. Yeah. And the food was really unique. So I think, would I be able to do it again? I wouldn't want to, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I could. Having you know? said that, there's opportunities obviously to grow business around the hub that you've chosen because 100%. where you've chosen is spectacular. I mean, there's you and I were talking prior to getting in the car about the quirkiness of the buildings around where you know where Fane is, is, is situated, and we're looking yeah. at it going. And in your mind, I'm watching you create things, going, "Look at that! This place has got this hub and that hub, and this could be amazing if it was done like this." So I've seen you already look at that area and already take the next chapter on board and go, well, watch this space because there's <laughs> something cool happening well, soon. Well, yeah, funny you should say that because we were just downstairs and I showed you that space Yeah, on the ground floor. I know you want to talk about it. I do. I don't mind talking about I it. I do. Eh? That's cool. I want to coax it out of you. <laughs> so we've decided to continue with the Japanese kind of um, aesthetic right. in the food. So when we were in Japan, we were going fine dining, we were yeah. eating like these proper kaiseki meals. And in between, we were like, we needed something simple. So we needed some ramen, not knowing that it was going to be such a fad around the world. And also in South Africa, Absolutely. it's going to be taking off. So I'm not talking about two minute pack of noodles. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not ramen. No. Ramen is like proper. these layers of yeah. flavoring and proper handmade noodles and Ooh. beautifully cooked eggs and pork and chicken and whatever you're going to put on it. But there's, I think the one thing about ramen is, like if you want to compare it to say sushi and tempura and Japanese yes. cuisine and kaiseki, that's all very like prim and proper and there's too many rules. 
Ramen's got no rules. So oh. you can do an African ramen, you know. So we're putting a little ramen restaurant in and we're going to follow the Japanese ethos of doing only a couple dishes, keeping it simple, focusing on what that. we do well. And that's ramen. And we got a machine which is on the water now from it's actually left Yokohama on Monday. Should be arriving October. As soon as it arrives, we're making noodles and we're going to be pushing ramen out. So, Watch the space. Yeah. Cape Town, etc. Getaway Mag. Watch the space. It's coming <laughs> soon and we'll have it first. When yeah. we're ready to open, we'll make noise to the world. 100%. 100. And you're welcome to come in and bring your GoPro with you. Stunning. Just Jim don't ask GoPro. me to drive. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, Actually, I'm glad you haven't asked me to sing. <laughs> sing <laughs> like karaoke <laughs> carnival. Don't do that, please. No. Um, how do you juggle being a, being a family man as well? Being a, you know, because I mean, that's, it's tough in anybody. I mean, as a family man myself, I know you, your life you pour into your passion mm. and, and you've had to pour your life into into this the past we just mentioned four but ideally it's 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 what you live and breathe all the time yeah it's a tough balancing act yeah you know it is right but i'm lucky enough that i got a really good wife you yes. know she's i'm in the same she's boat. also part of the she's part of the the business yeah so, but she works from home she yeah. helps with the reservations and she manages the family you know and Absolutely. i give it all i can at yeah. work and i come home and give it all i can there too but it feels like it's sometimes never enough because work is just so all-consuming, yeah. you know. Yeah, it is. So You're always playing catch-up. Number, yeah. yeah. I've got a good wife who I haven't divorced. Yeah, <laughs> we're still the first wife. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we uh, we get along really well. She understands my itinerary and my my workload, and I understand what she goes through. So we, yeah, I think we. Uh, it's we a great see partnership. Each other quite, it's a good great partnership. partnership. Yeah, yeah. So I think life is full of good partnerships. Absolutely. You need to surround yourself with good or not better people than yourself. Yeah. And then you'll be a success as long as it tastes good as well. Yes. Absolutely. If you have good taste, you will then find you're success. Fine. <laughs> why? And I want to ask this: Why Cape Town? And uh, we spoke about this earlier. On anywhere you could live, literally anywhere in the world, you'd be snapped up by any top, uh, or, or if not, you'd, you'd you'd you could put up a restaurant anywhere in the world. Why Cape Town? Why not, eh? Why Cape Town? Oh, I mean, you can't beat the views. You can't beat. Oh, the people are amazing. Yeah. I love the ingredients here. You know, I got the two oceans. You know, to choose, you know, we've got 700 different varieties of seaweed in the two oh, oceans. Can you believe that? You know, and seaweed's such a big thing for us. We cook a lot with it. And, you know, I, I love it here. Um, the money is a big, a bit of a problem. You yeah. can make more money, money in London. Uh, you yeah. can make more money yeah. in New York. Yeah. I don't want to go live in a big city no. in, in the first world. Absolutely. It's, you know, I would look at a smaller city if I was going to. Um, we but, don't want you to look at any smaller city. <laughs> we, we love you in Cape Town. We really do. I love being here. But there's opportunity overseas. You know, it yeah. is It is knocking on the door now since the 50 yes. best. Um, yeah. We've had a few offers. And, yeah. Which you're not considering sure. like, seriously. But yeah. It's nice to know That's that, like that you want, want it. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I tell you what, you've still got so much to give the world, uh, starting out of Cape Town and spreading that love with it. means that there's a uh, bespoke restaurant that'll pop up in the near future in a New York or a London or a Sydney. Uh, well, let me tell you, it, it, it wouldn't surprise me because that is how global your cuisine is. At the uh, moment, thanks, it's Ryan. got a local spin in it, and I love it. You're thanks. worth every single award and accolade uh, that comes thanks, your man. way. I appreciate and it's that. been a privilege to say you know that I've had a meal in your restaurant and, and that I know you and you have to have one now again it's been too long I it's think, been right? too long <laughs> folks go oh, Ryan, book so much, please Ryan. if you haven't booked yet you've got to go um, uh, Fane is doing the most incredible things there's a new spot opening up watch the press for details Peter Templehoff is a superstar and he's only just beginning let me tell you uh, this man <laughs> it's gonna be impossible to get him on the show in three years time I have to phone agents all over the world but thank heavens is one place you'll always call home and that's Cape Town. Uh, thanks, Ryan. Thanks, I appreciate Peter. it. Nice to be with you. And Thank hey, you. Great cabbie. Thank you. Oh, you wouldn't even talk about the car. We didn't even talk about the car. What do you think about the car? Jeez, it's so smooth. This car was built for me. It's like perfect. The, the legs fit in nicely. Yeah. The comfortable steering wheel. Man, it's beautiful. Eh? You know why I love this All car? All the bells and whistles has got it. For you, because yeah. for the first time, and it feels like a long time, we're producing mm. a car year that the rest of the world loves and oh, wants. Oh, really? And so oh. I, 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 I kind of felt, well, what yeah. are, who, who else could we export to the world at the moment? And there's no better person I can think of than you. Amazing. Thanks, Thank you, well, mate. I'm waiting for mine, yeah? <laughs> it's in the mail. <laughs>